Hello and welcome to this interview. I'm here with Lacey Rathbun and she is with the uh, 406 Families. Um, I happened to stumble acro across this um, website, which I automatically fell in love with and I think it's a great website. So could you tell a little bit more about 406 Families? Thank you. Well, we um, started a website right before COVID, um, trying to kind of compile different resources, informational things for families and caretakers in Missoula. So if you're looking for where are all the places that do summer camps? Or, hey, I want to go on a hike with my kid here, but is it stroller friendly? Do I need to bring a baby carrier? So starting to kind of compile those resources all in one place for families. Um, and so we've, we've been doing that for about a year and a half now. I think it pairs very nicely with uh, your guys' social media as well, because I've noticed that you guys are kind of accentuate some of the even local businesses. Like one of the things that I really liked about it was the new food trucks. Like you have a whole tab devoted to food trucks, People can find all the new food trucks where they can where they are at certain different times, and I think that's just great. Yeah, well, there's new um, relevant things popping up all the time, and uh, whether you're a grandparent raising grandkids, or you're a mom, or a dad, um, or even a babysitter or a nanny, knowing where there's an ice cream food truck sometimes makes your Friday a little bit easier. And I definitely noticed there's a lot of new ice cream trucks that just there uh, dropped. There are, yeah, ice cream and Japanese shaved ice even. I actually went to that Japanese shaved ice. It's pretty good. They're fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about what is what was the reason for this website to come together? Well, I've noticed that when I go to another city to visit, I'll Google Portland, things to do with kids, or Seattle, things to do with kids. And there's usually a really good resource on here's where our museum is, here's our library, and, and a link to all of those different things. And we didn't really have that in Missoula. And so um, I know as a parent, I was searching for that. And I also wanted to stay up on what are new food trucks that I could take my kids to? When is the library reopening? What are the summer camps that are going on? Um, and so that was one reason why we really wanted to bring something similar to, to the Missoula community. That's really good. That's really great. And I, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm the kind of person who uh, utilizes MissoulaEvents.net. Um, but a lot of times when I find like a camper thing that happens, it's like it's happening right now. And a lot of times summer camps, it's all about pre-planning. You got to always look ahead. You know, parents map up their children's schedule from top to bottom, stacking them yes. with all these summer camps and then their vacations and stuff like that. Yeah, and you have to log on at a specific time. Otherwise, they are all booked out and you're waitlisted. Um, and I think, too, with so many newer people moving to Missoula, it's really helpful to have those little articles that say, get on the wait list. Sometimes they change. Here's some places that still have camps open. So we're trying to put out articles like that to say, hey, if you didn't get in your first choice of camp, that's fine. There's 40 other places in Missoula yeah. that are doing camps and they range in age from four years old to 16 year olds. Yep. So there's a wide variety. And I did a summer camp segment on my show where I just kind of went through a lot of the summer camps courtesy of 406families.org. Um, mm -hmm. And I just got uh, winded because like after 20 or so, I'm just like, okay, I, I don't know how much more people can take. You guys can look it up yourself. And again, that website is 406families.org. Yeah, I think there's some great places we could go with it too that um, I think if we had the skills or if someone else has the skills and wants to help us create more of like a searchable database so people could filter the camps by ages or interests or time of day mm. or which week they're offering them. Um, you know, I think there's some places that that, that can grow. Right now, we're just three moms that are doing this in our spare time um, around nap times and bedtimes and our regular Monday through Friday jobs. So um, it's, it's a passion project right now, but I'm glad that it's been such a good tool for others. Well, thank you very much, Lacey. Yeah, thank you for having me. And once again, you can find that website, 406families.org.